Hey and welcome Scorpio, Rose Burnett here, Mind Body Soul Balance. This is your mid-month tarot forecast for June 2021. Now it is a general reading, so always trust yourself what resonates, leave what does not. If you're brand new to my channel, big welcome, awesome to have you here. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell to make sure my videos come through to you in your feed. And uh, if you regularly follow my channel, you're rocking awesome, love your support. Now uh, the notification did go out in terms of the winners for may 2021 i'm still waiting for you guys to get in touch with me um it's actually girls that one mm -hmm. so uh i need gloria keel uh you won the uh, oracle deck for being a new subscriber last month and i'll run the names across the bottom of the screen yeah and dorothy capan who won for the existing members so uh if you go to the community tab on my channel up the top there's two announcements on there on how to get in touch with me to claim your prize so please do mm -hmm. and if you're wondering on how to get uh, into the giveaway prize draw for june 2021 all you have to do is be a brand new subscriber to my channel or to opt into the extended versions of my readings this month you'll go into the draw to win the uh, beautiful sacred power on oracle by anna stark i can say that correctly mm -hmm. Um, if you do regularly follow me, you're a positive community member, I'll be on the lookout for you in June. You'll go into the draw to win the beautiful Wisdom of the Hidden Realms Oracle, which is such a gorgeous deck. Mm -hmm. And I'll announce the winners at the end of the month. And if you're wondering on how to get hold of the extended versions of my readings, all you need to do is to hit the join button on my channel or very first link in the description box below. They're only $5.99 a month, includes the extended version of the mid-monthly as well as the monthly ones. They're uh, usually around about 45 minutes long and go a lot deeper into your general energies in terms of career finances, abundance, anything coming towards you related to love, challenges you're going through, guidance on that, as well as chakra balance and higher messages from spirit, who you're connected to in the spirit world, your divine gifts and talents, your animal spirit guides, all that kind of stuff. So if you want to invest in yourself, they're deeply motivational, inspirational, transformational, go and check them out. And if you feel like you need extra support and guidance, reach out for a personal reading. They are open. I also do distance Reiki energy healing sessions and packages. Link will pop up here as well as the info down below uh, if you're interested in getting in touch in terms of those. And stay connected with me on Instagram. Do a lot of daily motivation, inspiration over there. Come and say hi. All right, Scorpio, let's get started with your reading. So we're going to dive into predictions with the Angel Wisdom Tarot. And let's see what you need to know. You've pulled the King of Earth. He's sitting in his throne with his coin in his lap. Um, he's very motivated. He's accomplished. Um, can represent a time of great success, financial security coming into your life, the Midas touch, things working out beautifully. Can represent self. It can represent someone you're connecting with. And you've also got the moon, which when this comes out, it's always about trusting your own intuition to guide you. Not looking outside of self for answers, just really trusting yourself. It's flying out. You've got the eight of there. She's taken off a mask. She's kind of opening up a gate. It can represent being stuck in the ego state, self-illusionary things, holding yourself stuck. Um, number eight obviously on its side represents the infinity symbol um, it can also re represent taking more of a leadership role in your life taking responsibility for self and you've got the two of air which is uh she looks like she's defending herself with a couple of swords but it's unwilling unable to make a decision possibly procrastinating having a stalemate going on with someone else Overthinking things. Mm, you got the Empress. She's very nurturing energy, giving birth to your dreams, going after what it is that you want. And you've got the Three of Earth, directly related to doing what you love, what you're passionate about. Can be artistic, can be creative, being known for your high quality work. Uh, sitting directly under the king of earth, which is the Midas touch. Things working out beautifully for you. There's quite a lot here about going with the flow of who you are. So 
some of you are second guessing yourself and worrying about your path um and there's a clear message to just do what you love You've also got the three of air, time of great sadness. Some of you may have experienced some loss going through some grief right now, whether it's uh, something from the past or you may have lost someone physically from your world. And you've got the page of fire. Yeah, there's an exciting new opportunity coming your way, directly aligned with your creativity, your talents, what you want to do. You've also got the high priestess. So any states of indecision, procrastination, spirit saying go within, seek your spiritual guidance, trust yourself. What else does Scorpio need to know? There we go. Okay. You got the seven of air. So some of you may be worrying that somebody's going to, dare I say, he's running off with all the swords. Yeah, while well, your back's turned. Um, unwise choice you may have possibly made, putting your trust into someone, faith and trust into someone who lacked integrity, can represent deception, manipulation. Just watch any scams going on around your money. You may be worrying about that aspect. All right, let's put you some guidance with the Muse Tarot. Uh, you've got the two of emotions, which is a mirrored image. It's a soulmate connection, yeah? You're mirroring each other. I mean, aces always represent brand new beginnings, so it can be a new soulmate. And you've got the Hierophant, again, going within and, do, and seeking your spiritual guidance. The Hierophant also, in terms of this oracle, this tarot deck, sorry, um, forges their own path. They don't listen to anybody else. They follow their own dreams and goals. And you've got the six of voices, which means if I bring it really closer, there's lots of points there. You've traversed through a lot of challenges. You're about to take a leap of faith into the unknown, ready to take a leap of faith, Scorpio. Okay, you've got a couple here. You've got the page of inspiration. So in receiving inspired ideas, not only from the divine, um, but also from yourself. There's so much colour and inspiration here. Following through on those ideas. All right, you've got three here. You've got the seven of inspiration. Um, she's very much protecting what she's created, protecting herself, particularly around criticism, judgment from others. Oh, this is beautiful, which is the queen of inspiration. So gorgeous. One of my favorite ones in this deck. It represents self-love, nurturing, that beautiful watery energy coming into a place of inner peace and balance. So many aces, so many brand new beginnings. You got the ace of voices. Um, so it can certainly represent a change in the way you're looking at things. There's an owl there, which represents seeing the truth in situations, trusting your own wisdom, mm -hmm. fresh perspectives on how you're looking at things. Pull you some guidance from the healing angel messages. Oh, you've got destiny. Your destiny is to blossom, to shine, to transform into an ever greater light. So some of you definitely coming into your own in terms of your career. And you've got the truth. The best way through this situation is to speak your truth. Contrary to what you may think, no one will be hurt if you express exactly how you feel. So not holding back, Scorpio, being gentle and kind, but mm -hmm, expressing yourself. You've also got Archangel Metatron. I'm your link between heaven and earth, between your humanity and divinity. I'm here to help you heal the conflict that exists between your heart and mind. Fill me in your heart and thoughts. Through oneness, there is love. I mean, there is a little bit of an undercurrent of you feeling a bit trapped and stuck, which is, you know, you're doing that to yourself, I've got to say. Mm-hmm. She can also always represent states of confusion, a bit of inner conflict. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the beautiful Divine Circus Oracle. Ah, you've pulled the Secret of Shinobi. Number 11 represents brand new beginnings. Let's pull you up the guidance. 
It says Scorpio. It says, can you keep a secret? It's time to play your cards close to your chest. Soon enough, you'll be ready to stand upon the mountaintop for all to see and hear. But for now, let things unfold in the guarded privacy of your inner world. When the time is right to be seen in the light, you'll know what's true and what to do. Until then, be patient, be private, be committed, and wait for the right time to shine. This ninja goddess brings you a message. Sometimes being less visible, less transparent, less seen for a time is helpful. Doesn't mean being dishonest or deceptive, but it does mean keeping your intentions and your truths to yourself until you see the best way to attain your goals. In fact, the best way to attain your goals might be more of the iron fist in velvet glove approach. You might find that gentle persuasion works far better than direct confrontation which can unintentionally inflame a situation and trigger defensive reactions in others instead of finding a way to bring resolution. If you have been frustrated that you're not breaking through into a more prominent position or not being seen as clearly as you would like, don't worry. This will pass and you will be given the, your time to stand up and be seen at the right time. For now, at least you can move freely without obstruction, jealousy, competition or sabotage if you keep your private affairs very private indeed. When it's time to show your hand, to reveal your intentions and to speak more openly and publicly about what you've been gestating, you'll know. But for now, let things come together away from prying eyes. Just for now, it's time to keep a secret. And uh, there's an affirmation here that says, my inner knowing tells me when to express myself openly and when to remain silent for the greatest good of all. Um, it's very much what's channeling through very strongly, right, is the seven of inspiration, the need to protect what you've created. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yep. Yeah. All right, Scorpio, those of you watching the free version of this reading, those are your messages. Love to hear your feedback, your comments. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed it. Reach out if you feel like you need extra guidance and support with a personal reading or distance Reiki energy healing session. We are going into the extended next to get hold of that. As I mentioned, just hit the join button on my channel. Very first link below. Um, there's this beautiful focus on doing what you love when you do that, this prosperity, this financial stability is coming into your life or is already in progress. Um, there's certainly this gorgeous giving birth to your dreams. There's certainly a soulmate here, mirrored image coming in. Um, and very much there's definitely, I mean, two messages to protect what you've created. So we'll see what else comes through about that. And this gorgeous ability to bring yourself into this very watery, self-love balanced energy with your emotions. So whatever else comes out, we will have a look at in the general energies. For those of you leaving us right now, it's been awesome to have you here. Make sure to come back again. VIP members, those going into the extended hang around, we're going into general energies next. Mm -hmm.